안녕하십니까 블록미디어 최순중입니다 아, 오늘은 엘살바도르에서 비트코인 교육 관련된 NGO를 운영하고 계시는 아, 두 분을 모셨습니다 Hey you guys, introduce yourself Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sure. Introduce yourself, Michael. What you do? Okay, so my name is Roberto Magaña. I, I'm I'm working in uh, in, the, in the organization called My First Bitcoin. So uh, it's a non-profit, and we're right now starting to implement the curriculum in the public system in El Salvador. In a couple of months, uh, we also are going to expand in the private schools. And uh, there is a lot of projects, international projects, that John can explain uh, all the progress that is being done there. But the real mission of the organization is to empower people. For them to actually understand what is happening, to understand the game that they're playing, let's say in the current system, for them to understand the problems, and then they can actually understand that the, the solutions, right? So that's it, really, to empower people and, and give them the opportunities and options. Kantani, ah, now, my first Bitcoin is a NGO that is running by a robot. This guy is a 비트, 비트코인 관련해가지고 전체적으로 경제적인 지식이랑 이제 뭐 비트코인 관련해가지고 전반적인 그런 교육 시스, 교육 프로그램을 무료로 이제 사람들한테 교육해주고 있어요. 그런 단체를 운영하고 있습니다. 네, 네 여러분도 잘 아시겠지만 엘살바도르는 비트코인을 법정 통화로 그렇게 활용할 수 있게 지정한 나라죠. 그러다 보니까 많은 사람들에게 무상으로 어떻게 비트코인을 이용할지 NGO들을 통해서 교육을 하고 있습니다. 잭도시가 어, 이, 이 NGO에게 아, 기부를 한 것으로 알고 있는데 그 부분에 대해서 좀 질문을 해보도록 하죠. Uh, yeah. So he wants to ask you guys about like how like Jack Dorsey like um, you know gave up, uh, 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 like donation for your company. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Hey, so my name is John. Um, I'm the founder of Me Pro Bitcoin and you know, to, to just compliment what, what Roberto said, we believe that independent, impartial Bitcoin education will change the world. And we're very fortunate to, to have the support of other people who believe the same thing, including Jack Dorsey. So Jack Dorsey has, has donated to us in the past, right? He's, he, he found the project. I, I don't know how he found the project, but he found it, he liked it, he donated. Um, and, and I, I think he'll continue to support it. And a lot of other really wonderful people in the space support the project because we all recognize that independent, impartial, community-led Bitcoin education is something that, that could create a better world that we all want to live in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 본인은 믿고 있다고 합니다. 그래가지고 이제 그런 그런 사상 같은 부분을 제크로 씨한테 이제 메일은 아니면은 뭐 어떤 어, SNS로 연락을 했나 봐요. 음. 그거를 이제 제크로 씨도 보고 거기 감동을 받아가지고 이제 일단은 시민들을 이제 교육하는 그런 단체고 그래가지고 기부를 받았다고 합니다. 음. 네네. 제크로 씨가 앞으로도 계속 기부를 해주시나요? <웃음> Will he be donating from now on? Please, yes, we need a lot of help, so yes, thank you. 자, 그러면은 앞으로 이 NGO를 계속 운영하기 위해서 어, 필요한 것들이 어떤 게 있나요? 아, so like he said, um, asking you guys, like, uh, what do you think was important to like um, keep running your NGO? Really, what you just said, I mean, we need help from the community. There are several ways that you can donate. You can go to our webpage, that is myfirstbitcoin.io, and you can donate there. We also have a Geyser campaign right now running. So you can go also to the Geyser campaign and donate uh, us there. And being here in the conference, you can also buy merch and donate directly here with us. And all of those help us. We need a lot of help because we are uh, a political and impartial and free. So we don't charge for the curriculum. And uh, so, yeah, we need a lot of uh, help from the community. 아무래도 교육 같은 부분도 전부 다 무료로 이제 진행되는 부분에 있어가지고 또 이제 NGO잖아요. 그래가지고 어, 사람들 많은 관심과 도네이, 그러니까 어떻게 보면 이제 기부를 통해가지고 이제 이루어지기 때문에 이렇게 어, 미디어를 통해가지고 많은 노출도 필요하고 그런 부분이 필요하다고 합니다. 네네. 그러면 엘살바도르 정부와 이 NGO는 어떻게 지금 협력하고 있는지 여쭤봐 주시겠습니까? Uh, do you guys have any connection with the El Salvador uh, government with like um with their like uh, Bitcoin policy? 
Yeah, so we're very fortunate to work in a friendly environment. You know, El Salvador is a, is a great environment to have a Bitcoin project, to have a Bitcoin business because of that tactic support, because it is legal tender. So we are independent from the government. We receive no funding from the government, but we are very appreciative to work in, in an environment that, that, is, that is very welcoming to projects such as, such as this. 아, 아직까지는 정부와는 연관이 없는 그냥 개인 조직이라고 합니다. 그래가지고 그렇지만 이제 엘살바도르 같은 경우에는 어 비트코인 관련해가지고 굉장히 친화적인 환경이기 때문에 그런 부분에 있어가지고 굉장히 감사하다고 말하고 있네요. 네네. 네, 그두 가지 질문을 더 해보죠. 첫 번째는 지금 교육 내용을 주로 어떤 커리큘럼을 가지고 교육하고 계신지 그걸 여쭤봐 주시죠. Uh, so he wants to ask like two questions. One question is like, what kind of like curriculum that that you run for this like education program? So that's the first one, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So all of what we do, not all of what we do, most of what we do, is focused on getting people off of zero, right? So we have intro classes, which is a a one session class, um, and then we have a Bitcoin diploma, which is a ten session course. And with all of that, we start out with some basic financial literacy so students understand the system under which we live because we believe that it's really important that before seeing what the solutions are, we have to understand what the problems are. So we start with basic financial literacy and then we move on to Bitcoin and how Bitcoin can solve some of the problems that we have in the world today. Uh, I have a clarification. So like the one session is like, the meeting session rest of the 10 session is like from the online or like uh no so so we offer an intro course which is just a one day you know you go and the whole thing happens in one day in one class we also have the bitcoin diploma which is a 10-week program ah, okay. so it's just more intensive it's it's a similar format in that we start with basic financial literacy and then we move on to bitcoin but one happens in an hour and one happens in 10 weeks. Okay. 그러니까 그두 가지 프로그램이 있는데 첫 번째는 이제 그 처음 접하는 사람들을 위한 인트로 프로그램을 하고 그거는 이제 클래스가 한번 정도 이루어진다고 합니다. 그리고 이제 비트코인 디플로마라는 프로그램이 있는데 그거 같은 경우에는 이제 10주 동안에 이제 10주 동안 진행이 되고 처음에는 이제 경제적인 전반 경제 시스템에 대한 전반적인 어 정보 같은 걸 가르쳐 주고 그거를 이해를 해야지만 이제 비트코인을 알수 있기 때문에 그렇게 한다고 하시고요. 그리고 이후에는 이제 비트코인이 어떻게 그런 문제점 같은 거를 해결할 수 있는지 그런 거에 관련해 가지고 교육한다고 합니다. 그리고 이제 10주가 지나면은 디플로마가 나오고요. 네. 그두 번째 질문 드리도록 하겠습니다. 두 번째 질문은 아 이어 지금 말씀하신 것과 좀 이어지는 그런 네. 질문일 텐데 이런 그 NGO들 통한 그런 지금 교육이 엘사바도르의 전체 경제 금융 시스템을 어떻게 바꿀 수 있을 거라고 앞으로 어떻게 바꿀 수 있을 거라고 생각하십니까? 아, okay. So he he wants to ask like um, what's your like end goal about this uh, project teaching people? Do you think like what like he's asking what kind of like impact would you leave to like El Salvador's like um, economy in holistic way? Uh, if you if you can like um, answer that, you know, I mean, if you have like uh, some sort of like yeah. vision, yeah. I mean, really, the impact that we want to make is to empower people, oh, for them okay. to know. I mean, it's an open source project, so they can literally just download it and start using it. So the impact that we want to know is that they that they empower themselves and and they teach their community. So we want also this is part of the program that uh, people that get graduated normally get uh, also our teachers, for example. So there, there, there is an option for them to work, for example, that's it. And uh, we are having some projects in the future in which we want to have, a, a let's say, a ledger of the, of the students that are already graduated. Of course, if they want to because of privacy, but that way we can share that list with the, all the companies that are right now working in El Salvador for them to know that these people already know the basic stuff about Bitcoin. So that is nothing that, that is not implemented right now. That is something that we want to, to, to implement. So, so there is a, a continuity for the students and a, a, an impact, as you say, the, the opportunities for work, right? John can tell you about the international expansion, also our projects like that, 
to empower people not only in El Salvador but outside. And uh, John, if you want to, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, so it's really important for us that we empower the students. Uh, but then there's also practical things, right? To to try to create visible economic alternatives for the graduates of the program. Um, but and, and and it's not just El Salvador. So El Salvador, because it's the first nation in the world to adopt Bitcoin as legal tender, it will be an example. Others will will look at what's happening in El Salvador and they'll you know they'll learn from it. Uh, so if it's a positive example, then that is going to speed up the timeline, and we need to speed up the timeline. Um, so. We also see Meet Red Bitcoin as, as something that could be an example for others to follow. We hope in the same way that El Salvador could inspire other nations to look at Bitcoin in a new way, that Meet Red Bitcoin could inspire Bitcoin educators around the world to, to work in their own communities. So we're working with projects in, I think, nine nations now. Uh, South Africa just started this week. Um, Honduras started a, a new class yesterday. Uh, and, and yeah, Guatemala, Uruguay, Argentina, Costa Rica, there's, there's a whole, whole long list there. Um, and yeah, we, we, we really believe that this is an idea whose time has come. And it's all the support from the community that makes it possible. And we are extremely encouraged that there are people taking initiative in their own communities around the world to create something similar. So this impact isn't just for El Salvador, but for the world. Diploma를 받게 되면은 어이 My First Bitcoin이란 단체 선생님으로서도 일하, 일을 할수 있고 그리고 그 자기가 이제 DB를 가지고 있는데 그 학생들 학생들 DB를 그러니까 그런 약간 좀 디플로마를 가지고 가지고 있는 사람들 대상으로 대상을 원하는 기업이 있을 수도 있을 거 아니에요 그런 식으로 약간 좀뭐어 학생들이 학생들이 좀더 경제적인 약간 좀 이득을 볼수 있는 그런 그런 약간 좀 어, 노선을 생각을 하고 있다고 합니다. 음. 그리고 이제 <웃음> 존 같은 경우에는 지금 말, 말하는 게 이제 자기네들은 엘사버를에서 멈추지 않고 이제 전 세계적으로 퍼져 나가고 있다. 지금 아, 지금 이제 아홉 가지 아홉 개국에서 지금 프로그램을 지, 진행하고 있다라고요. 어 사우스 사우스 아프리카 그리고 혼듀라스도 많이 나왔는데 거기에서 이제 좀더 자기 자기네들이 퍼트리는 지식을 학생들도 배워가지고 그런 커뮤니티를 만들었으면 좋겠다는 얘기를 했습니다. 네. 네. 마지막으로 아, 한국에 많은 블록 미디어 독자들이 있는데 그분들한테 아, 마지막으로 인사 한번 해주시죠. Uh, say hi to uh, the sub subscribers of Block Media if you if you like to, yeah. Oh <웃음> uh, yeah. I mean subscribe, subscribe to Block and thank you, thank you for your time, thank you for asking all these questions and for the interest. And uh, we hope for you guys also to go to the webpage, download the program, and just start using it. Thank you, guys. Nice. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.